welcome students in the organic chemistry lecture series today in this video we are going to study about the base catalyzed hydrolysis of ester and we called popularly this reaction as a saponification reaction now i will explain you why this base catalyzed hydrolysis is called as saponification reaction first of all see this reaction now consider this ester r c double bond o o r dash both these r and r dash are different so this is the ester if we treat this ester in uh, presence of any base then there is a formation of this sodium salt of acid and side product is alcohol this reaction is base catalyzed hydrolysis of ester and it is called as saponification now friends you will uh, get question that why not this uh, hydrolysis of ester is carried out in presence of acid okay so when we carry out ester hydrolysis in presence of acid then the reaction is reversible and it does not go to the completion that's why we carry out ester hydrolysis in presence of base because the reaction goes to the completion and we get the product this sodium salt of fatty acid or sodium salt of acid now this process why this process is called as saponification that i will explain actually soaps are nothing but sodium salt of higher acid we can say fatty acid what are soaps soaps are actually sodium salt of higher fatty acid so if you take just here uh, higher uh, ester ester generated from higher fatty acid and if we do the hydrolysis of that ester then ultimately we will get what sodium salt of higher fatty acid so if the product is sodium salt of higher fatty acid then the overall process is called as saponification uh, process and saponification process is not a reversible process because it is base catalyzed and this process is industrially very important because you know soaps are formed in this reaction so it is very important industrial process popularly known as saponification now we will see the mechanism of this base catalyzed hydrolysis of ester now the mechanism of saponification is known as bac2 mechanism because it is base catalyzed uh, hydrolysis of ester and it is bimolecular so it is known as bac2 mechanism now the mechanism has three step we'll see one by one in first step what happens see this is ester rc double bond o o r dash in this ester we know that this carbon is electron deficient carbon because it is to it is attached to highly electronegative oxygen and uh, this oxygen also so this carbon is highly electron deficient so there is a nucleophilic attack of this oh minus on this carbonyl carbon and there is a formation of this intermediate now you will see the geometry of this intermediate is like a tetrahedral shape so this intermediate is popularly known as tetrahedral intermediate it is just a acyl nucleophilic substitution reactions which we have seen earlier yeah, seen in earlier videos so tetrahedral intermediate is generated in the first step now we will see what what is happening there in the second step in second step uh, there is a elimination of alkoxide ion by acyl o bond fission so what happens see this oxygen is having this negative charge this charge shift over here and there is a removal of this alkoxide ion so that means what we can say there is a bond fission between this carbon and oxygen and what is this bond this bond is known as acyl o bond fission we know that we have seen acyl nucleophilic substitution reaction and in that acyl nucleophilic substitution reaction we know that there is a breaking of acyl o bond so in this step what happens this charge comes here and there is a removal of alkoxide ion by acyl o bond fission and there is a formation of this acid plus r o n a now in uh, 
third step what happens we will see in third step what happens uh, that ro uh, ion that means alkoxide ion which is generated in the second step that ion is very basic okay so surrounding there is a sodium so it gets attached to sodium to form this r dash o n a but this r o minus this group is highly basic highly basic so if this group is highly basic now what this group can do then this highly basic group abstract this proton right this r dash o minus is highly basic and what is the function of base it accept the proton so this r dash o minus readily abstract this proton so if this proton is abstracted by this r o minus then there is a formation of this r dash o h alcohol and the remaining carboxylate ion r c double bond o o minus that carboxylic ion will combine with sodium to form this sodium salt of this acid okay so this is the third third step so what we have seen in this video we have seen the very important saponification reaction in summary we can say that saponification reaction is nothing but base catalyzed hydrolysis of ester hydrolysis of ester in presence of acid is not possible because reaction is reversible and it does not go to the completion that's why we carry out hydrolysis of ester in presence of base and the saponification reaction is industrially very important because it generate the soaps okay and in mechanism we have seen that the mechanism mechanism is called as bac2 mechanism because it is base catalyzed by molecular reaction so it is bac2 mechanism in first step there is a generation of tetrahedral intermediate in second step there is a breaking of acyl o bond and in third step there is a <coughs> formation of this sodium salt of acid and by product as a alcohol so uh, students if we take this r as a bulky uh, like in fatty acid then this product is our soap so this is a saponification reaction i hope you have understand this base catalyzed hydrolysis of ester that is saponification reactions uh, in next video we will see the another concept and till uh, now we can stop here so have a nice day thank you